hello guys welcome to the seventh part of this lesson uh, in our previous video we learned how to extract the data and also transform the data so now we are going to create uh, a destination in which we are going to use to load the data into our warehouse and uh, here you can see from the top here so your package can now extract data from the flat file source and transform that data into a format compatible with the destination in this taxon, I'm going to load the transform data into a destination. To load the data, we're going to ask a, an old DB condition, uh, an old DB destination to the data flow. And this is going to use the uh, the old DB condition manager. Can, I, I, I see it here. It's going to use the old DB condition manager that we previously created. So here we have about 15 steps on how to achieve that. So let's go through them together. Here we are also we are also asked to go to the SSI's toolbox and expand the destination or that destination. Drag this onto the design surface of the data flow uh, directly below the lookup date transformation. Then we should select the lookup date key transformation and drag it and connect it to this. After that, in the input output dialog, we should select in the output list box select the lookup match outputs then on the data flow design surface right click this right click the old db, uh, old db destination in the new old db, old db destination component and change the name to this so let's just run this uh number one to four steps real quick then we'll come back and continue so let's come here we are asked to go to order destination this is other destination here then you will see all the bit destination drag it and let's drop it right under this i like building my destination like a flow chart i don't know i just love it this way so let me just drop it right here then we are asked to connect this then in the output uh box you select the lookup match output select ok double click on it at next step number five right double click on it then number six in the old destination edi uh, editor dialog ensure that this is enabled which i think we can see it clearly from here then it's selected then uh it's selected in the old connection manager right let's read it again in the old db destination editor dialog ensure that this is selected in the old db destination in the old db connection manager dialog box okay yes all right we're saying the same thing so number seven in the name of the table or the view box enter this we should enter this uh packed currency rate so i think this is the table they were entering but i think this table should already exist right let's just do fully step by step what did he say in the name of in the name of table table or the view so let's come here that table already exists but i think we are going to delete it right let's just follow the instructions we are asked to enter the packed currency rate packed currency rate are you guys seeing it yes look at it here the fact currency rate so <coughs> you see if a table name new fact currency rate currency is delete it now you will create you will create the table in the next step so let's come back and check our database and see if that table exists let's check our database new fact okay look at it here new fact currency rate let's be sure before deleting the table say if a table name new fact currency rate currently exists delete it now we'll create it again so uh let's come back to our database and let's get rid of this table we asked to delete it okay please so that being done let's come back here now 
the upon selecting OK, the, di the, the dialog closes and the name of the table or the view automatically changes to new fact currency rate. So let's hit OK and see. Did we jump any step? Okay, number eight say if a table name this currently exists, delete it now, which is what we just did. Then we should select the new button to create a table. Okay, I just know we jumped a step. So we jumped a step to this. I'm sorry about that. You select the new button to create a new table. Change the name of the table in the script from this to this because I knew I read something about creating a table in the next step. Then I just saw myself reading something that I said. So I was kind of confused. So change the name of the table in the script from this to this so this is the table that we're creating now uh, i hope you're all together if you're confused just drop a question in the comment section below and i'll respond to you as soon as i can so we're asked to change this we're asked to change this this uh oldb connection to this right from this sample destination to this and select OK. So I think this was where I was before I jumped in. So it said, it said upon selecting this to change to this, right? That's number 10. That's what I was reading last. So upon selecting OK, the dialog closes and the name of this changed to this. So I think that can be confirmed here too. So select mapping. So now let's map it now. Verify that the average currency key end of day rate, the the date key input columns are mapped correctly to the destination column. If same names columns are mapped, the mapping is correct. So let's check our mapping. Let's see. Um, this end of date read date key. You can see everything here is mapped correctly as it should. This is mapped to this, this is mapped to this, this is mapped to this, this is mapped to this. So let's set it. Okay. So now you can see our destination manager has been connected and the red button is gone. Select so okay, right click. We should also make sure that this is set United States and has a property of 1252. So let's right click on that. United States and the default code property of 1252. So here you can see we are moving, we are almost getting to the end. In the next project, we are going to do some uh, formatting and uh, there's not really much. Then after that, we are going to run our project. So that'll be all for this video. If you're tired, just go ahead and take a walk, stretch your legs, come back. I'll be waiting here for you. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.